Welcome to this part. In this part, basically, I am going to use AngularJS built-in services, which is you know dollar HTTP. So first of all, I want to create a new project. I want to give the project name as part six, and I want to copy the previous JS files and HTML files. Okay, then so in this lesson I'm going to modify the controller instead of writing hard-coded data I want to fetch the data from, uh, through services okay so what we have to do is um, as you can see we are just hard-coding all the data over here instead of this we want to inject one more parameter which is HTTP okay this is basically called a dependency injection we are injecting our dependency which is dollar HTTP uh, so this is basically you know angular JS services okay so what we have to do is we have to call the service http dot get and basically I am going to get the data from the um, JSON file you see I have added one more folder which is phones in this folder I have list of JSON files one of the file is phones dot JSON ok I got these all the JSON files from the AngularJS website where they have added all dummy data so we can use it so in this case they have added age instead of year so we have to change it at I mean we have to change it to the age instead of year and what we need to do is we need to read or uh, we need to get data from that a specific files but in real scenario you might have web services so you have to call the web services and you will get data from the web services as the zone because your web service might be restful web service so from the restful web service you might get JSON data okay so for this demo purpose I am using this um, JSON files so inside of the phones I have a phones dot JSON file okay if it is success then what then we have to write data here to the scope we have to add that data to the scope as phones equal data all right and in this case we can specify the uh, order property right order property equal what ace because in the JSON files they have specified ace in the previous tutorial I have mentioned that property as year okay so it will be ace all right so our JSON I mean our controller is now ready now what we have to do is we have to um what do we need to change anything in the HTML I think it's fine we do not need to change anything over here we can simply run the project oops you can see <laughs> 
we have a list of items which is coming from your phone.json files okay still you have the opportunity to sort alphabetic even you can search del okay so in the del you can now apply newest oldest alphabetical and whatever you want okay so what you did in this case we just change the hard-coded files I mean hard-coded data into the dynamic data that means we are getting data through the service this is called service HTTP get service okay and in this case we are getting data from the file but you can even call the service if the service is success then we need to add the data to the phone okay then we can display that phones over here using ng repeat clear and all the other things are similar as it is before so I hope you enjoyed this lesson in this lesson you have learned about the angular web services so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question please feel free to write in the comment box and if you want to give me a positive feedback please write your feedback thank you